Okay, it's your choice, boys and girls, if you want your paper to go portrait up and down or landscape side to side. I am going to make mine portrait up and down and we are gonna get started on our duck architecture projects. So for mine, I'm gonna think about what is my building going to sell? So as an architect, what am I gonna sell? Something I'm thinking about selling is sweets, so maybe a cupcake. So for this duck architecture project, if I'm selling cupcakes, I want my building to look like a big cupcake. And remember what I am doing is not what you want to be doing. So if you want to do sweets too, maybe you can do a different design for your building. So you don't want to copy mine, you want to make yours unique to you. Now I'm going to add in the texture and then I'm going to add in the top, so the frosting. Remember, you want to do this with a pencil, that way if you make any mistakes, it's not a big deal. So I'm actually going to make this a little curvier. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to do another one, and then one more. So that is my frosting. On the top, I am going to add in a cherry, so a cherry on the top. This is my cherry. You'll be able to see it better once I outline it with a black marker. I'm going to add a sign so that you know the name of my building. I'm going to call it Mrs. Webb's Sweets. And everyone needs a sign for their buildings. Okay, now I'm going to add in a door and window so that you can actually get inside. So you don't need to make a standard rectangular door. You can make your door look however you want it to look. Okay, I'm gonna do a line down the middle and then I'm going to do two windows and then door handles. Okay, so that is my door. Now I'm going to add in two windows. And then now I'm going to add in some sprinkles and some windows up here too, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And then some sprinkles going in different directions. Now, you can't forget about the ground. So I'm gonna add in a wavy ground line, some grass, and of course a path to get to my building. So this is the path. Okay, and now I'm going to add in a fence. So you can add in a fence or a parking lot. You wanna think about how your customers get there. So are your customers driving there? Are they riding the bike there? Are they walking there? For me, I'm gonna make my cupcake shop close to a park. So there's gonna be a fence right here. And then now I'm going to add in trees. I'm gonna make my trees overlap with one another. So this is one tree, and this is gonna be the second one. So two trees, a cupcake building, the sky will be back here. Maybe you can even add in a sun and some clouds. Okay, so for my duck architecture project, we have the sun and some clouds. I have my building, I have my sign, a door, windows, details to show that it's a cupcake. I have a fence. I have some trees in the background to show the location. I have a path that goes to my building. And that's it, boys and girls. Once you are done drawing your duck architecture project, you want to outline it with a black marker and then erase your pencil lines before you color it in.